you. We've been doing a bit of spying on Doughboy. Population, 24. <laughs> and when you're not in town, how many does that make that, Alison? Uh, 23. <laughs> <laughs> It is a day for sowing seeds, and together we are sowing the seed of the gospel. In small towns, well, maybe one like the one we're going to talk about now, because our guest is from the town of Doughboy. And uh, let me make a special welcome to Alison in Doughboy. Hi, Alison. I actually am smiling, though, because uh, Doughboy doesn't have any shops or anything here. It's just nothing. I can tell you, we've been doing a bit of spying on Doughboy. Population, 24. <laughs> and when you're not in town, how many does that make that, Alison? Uh, 23. <laughs> <laughs> now, should we assume you know all of your neighbours? I don't know all of them, but I've said hello to all of them. Um, yes, some of the new ones, <laughs> some of the new ones, because they've come up from Victoria, New South Wales just recently. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Yes, but I know their cars, though, on the, yeah. on the yeah. road. <laughs> and, Alison, we know that you love Vision. You are a, a serial uh, giver and supporter of Vision. And I, if I remember rightly, last time, when we uh, spoke to you, you told us how Vision uh, helped you during the drought. And also, you were able to have people from Vision pray for you when you had that operation on your ankle. Can you tell us this last year, how, how has Vision been an important part of your life out in a little country town, if you can even call it a town, called Doughboy? <laughs> Just a lot of trees here mainly. Um, it's here, isn't it? Oh, it is. Too. Yeah, it is. Um, well, I remember one day, because until I got bath, so I listen on 614 now um, through the satellite. Right. So therefore, during the day, um, I do turn it off at night because we're off the grid. And um, so the solar panels go down a bit. But I have it on all day and um, just listening to it. Um, but I remember once when it went down, when I just had my mobile phone and I'd say, Lord, I really, really need big news. You must, you must turn this on again, <laughs> and it will come straight back on. You know, um, so I had this full symptoms from not listening to vision. I said to my husband one day, "I just have to have vision on," <laughs> and it's just the ah uh, the the amazing music, um, just the people of integrity. All the announcers, just people of uh, integrity and humility, uh, which really uplift. Uh, my spirit and my husband's spirit, of course. Um, and just, I guess, because we're climbing out of what we were in, and it actually takes many years to get out of a drought, a very severe drought. And because we're climbing out, we still need that encouragement and to keep going day after day after day. Because basically, you do do the same thing on a farm day after day after day. And he um, really just gives it that extra warmth, you know, keep going. Wonderful. Alison, what an honour you for uh, for being so faithful in your support uh, when Visionathon comes around each time and uh, asking for God's richest blessing on you in the days ahead. You know, we live in the city and we have so many resources in cities and, and larger towns and communities so many resources that it's actually hard to comprehend, be, uh, comprehend being in a community of 24 people with no shops, nothing is around, and what's more, you're on so satellite power, which means whatever you listen to or doing through the day goes off at night when the sun goes down. It's hard to comprehend that. And a vision has always had a passion to reach those little tiny towns and communities that are oftentimes forgotten. And just last hour, uh, Phil Edwards, our CEO, was in here talking about the uh, the small towns project and the growth that we have going. Because in 2021, we actually launched a really ambitious goal to see Vision launched in 100 new small towns. And that would be completed by the end of this year. That's our goal. And even with all of the disruptions and challenges, we are actually on track for that because almost 70 of them are already on air. 70 is amazing. 
There are about 10 more that are very, very well advanced. We should be flicking that switch anytime soon, but 20 more are yet to be fully funded. And that's partially what Visionathon is going to be going towards. So on average, each year, new stations cost about $10,000 and you can help complete this project. It's a really important project. I mean, if you could hear what, what she was just saying there, you know, that it is so important. Like Vision is really a lifeline. You know, let's not take that for granted, but let's let's keep giving and be generous for our brothers and sisters around the country. We have been celebrating these small communities. Yeah. And, uh, Alison, are you still with us? Yes, I am. I'm listening. You wouldn't believe, but I've got I've got Google Maps on Doughboy, and uh, and I'm looking from above. I'm am I looking at your house? <laughs> How many houses are there in Doughboy? There's not too many, are there? Because uh, I can only identify. Uh, is only a, really a, a couple of properties there. So uh, wonderful to be on uh, with Vision in your small community. Are you in the north or the south of Doughboy? Well, you see on the Google map, there's Doughboy Road. So we're on Doughboy Road. And where I am talking to you from now is actually fairly open space at the end, um, the southern end, I would say. Yes, the southern end, because it, it is a dead end. <laughs> so right. if you pop outside, we'll wave. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you now from a satellite. Uh, yes. Sorry, well, Nanny interrupted you just, there. Well, so go to your phone and make a donation because you're making such a difference in Alison's life. You know, we get to be with her through the day and then she picks us up again in the morning. We don't realise how vital this is. Go to your phone, pick it up and dial this number, 1-800-316-316. Of course, the Vision Christian Media app, it's free. Everybody's using that. And they're also donating safely online at vision.org.au.